hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. I'm waiting for the sound to come up. That's why I'm speaking loudly. Good news for you guys. My, uh, it's like I'm growing a beard. My new uh, tripod with microphone and light is supposed to arrive tomorrow that I ordered from Five Below. So hopefully, hopefully the quality of the videos will be a lot better. In the meantime, I have an exchange haul to share with you. Now, you guys know that I received from received some items that were damaged and also received some items that I did not particularly care for, especially the bubbly rosé candle, which I think is one of their worst scents ever. It's right up there with coconut lime verbena and Caribbean escape. So before I get to the exchange, so I only brought... This was my plan. I only brought a couple of items with me to, to do exchanges because there wasn't a lot of items that I wanted. Um, and I'm going to wait um, and see if I want to keep what I have and just give it away as gifts, you know, at during, during different times of the year. Or if I want to see what comes out at Easter, because I got an Easter preview on the uh, rewards app. So they might have some cute Easter stuff. I think they're bringing back the Some Bunny Loves You. So before I get to the exchanges, there is one more lone candle that arrived yesterday. Oh, yesterday. And uh, I did not open it. So yes, it's one lone candle. And I, I know what this one is. This is the Sea Salt and Balsam. This is a candle, it's very strong. It's a candle that I don't see anyone hauling. I don't see anyone buying sea salt and balsam. I think after Christmas, it's it's funny. It's funny that Bath and Body Works tries to put coconut into everything, including Christmas scents. Like you remember I had that velvet coconut candle with Christmas trees all over it. Now they're putting Christmas in with, summer so they're putting sea salt and balsam okay so i really like the packaging on this that is not why i picked it okay the sea salt and balsam i smelled this in the store and i instantly liked it because of the weird factor it has the pretty white barn label engraving embossing there and look the candle's not frozen and it's not damaged Yeah, I like the idea of, of Christmas in summer. I don't think they should do this all the time, but I think this is an interesting scent. You definitely get the ocean scent and you definitely get the fresh balsam scent mixed together. So it's, it's really nice. It has a very aquatic yet Christmas tree scent. So the notes on this are salted ocean air, crisp coastal waves, oceanside balsam. Oceanside Balsam? Yeah, so I, I like this one. I think it's going to be good. I hope that the balsam uh, does not overwhelm the rest of the fragrance. So I exchanged one mist. They were having a mist sale today. And I really wanted, to, I had a 20% off coupon and I really wanted to get some, you know, some mists. I was, I was looking, I wanted to get um, the, from the Black History Month collection, I wanted to get teak wood. Um, I smelled the, the, what do you call it? The body cream of teak wood. It is so amazing. Like, I didn't realize it was, I kind of knew it was a men's scent, but I didn't really fully realize it when I saw it. I saw it in the Black History Month packaging because that packaging, it kind of, it looks unisex. Anyway, I, I love teakwood. I thought it was really good. They didn't have the Unity candle. They didn't have the Unity soap. They had no fine fragrance mist in teakwood. They, they had like very, they had nothing. They had nothing. So the one exchange that I did for the Bubbly Rosé, I picked up the white t-shirt, which is one that I wanted to pick up just to see how it is in the spray. This is 
really nice in the spray. You know, I thought it would smell a lot like, uh, I thought it would smell too much like laundry. But I really like this in the spray. This is Crisp Pear Fresh White T-Shirt Lavender Cloud Clean Musk Soft Sandalwood. Yeah, I like this one. This is a good one. So, and I think this is, um, I think this is a pretty unisex fragrance. I want to see if my boyfriend likes this one, if he likes a white t-shirt, because, or I might get him teak wood. So, let me tell you, and people are going to say I'm complaining, I got my boyfriend a lot of stuff from Bath and Body, Bath and Body Works over the years, the two years that we've been together, and... I got him ocean and graphite and marble and stone and whatever it was. Uh, and he didn't have a problem with any of them. He liked all the scents. He, I even got him some aromatherapy stuff that was kind of unisex. And um, he never had a problem. And the other day he told me, he was like, one of the shower gels that you gave me, I'm having an allergic reaction to it. It's making me itch. I was like, that's weird. Which one is it? And he said, Paris. Paris is, is making him itch. That sounds bad. Sounds like I'm talking about Paris Hilton. No, but the, the fragrance Paris shower gel is, he's having an allergic reaction to it. So I'm either going to pick up teak wood for him because I really like how it smells, or I'm going to get him white t-shirt because he's forever doing laundry. Okay. So now let's get to the soaps. I, I was in Bath and Body Works today for a good hour trying to exchange six soaps and five candles and I could I I had a really hard time finding soaps that I wanted you know I'm I'm gonna keep the white t-shirt and um of course the pistachio cream puff and um maybe I'll keep one or two of the sandalwood and one or two of the sprinkles but the, i i had way too much so i i brought back three sandalwood and three sweet sweet sugared sprinkles that you cake my breath away i took away i took back three of each of those because i had too many so i ended up picking up this is my favorite besides pistachio cream puff and this one has got soap on it um this is my favorite soap that's out right now. I bought two previously. Um, no, I, I got two previously because I had exchanged Mary, Mary Berry Kiss, or is it Slay All the Way? It was some, some horrible soap. Anyway, so I picked up two more of the Fresh Flower Picking. This is, I think, the best scent. I think I like it even better than Pistachio Cream Puff. This one feels weird. This smells like fresh flowers. It smells like green grass and fresh flowers. I really like this one. So, you know, to have four of it, I can, you know, keep it or give some away. Uh, but I really do like the fresh flower picking. Let me smell this one. That one smells like it's been manhandled. Yeah, I really do enjoy the fresh flower picking. I just don't like, I'm not nuts about the, the booger green color of the packaging, but I really do like the fragrance. Um, then I was looking around and looking and looking and looking. So this one I almost picked up last time, but I have so many rose scents. This is a really good one as well. This is Wildflower Rose. What did, I didn't tell you what was in fresh flower picking. So this is... Spring Water Lily, Wild Green Ivy, and Relaxing Jasmine. And this is Blooming Wild Flower, Enchanting Rose Bouquet, and Musk. It just smells like a really fresh rose scent. So if you like rose scents, I wonder if this smells like the rose water and ivy. I wish I had it to compare it to. So the Wildflower Rose, it's it's pretty. It has this kind of like a, a I, what would they say? I don't want to say Aztec design. You know what I mean. It has, it has a, it has a, a special design. I don't know what's, what's the word for that. 
like with those those blankets that you see in like New Mexico and whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So there's that one. Then I picked up this one. This is this is a good one. Um, I smelled practically. I smelled all the soaps. I smelled all the soaps. And before I get comments from the peanut gallery, no, I did not go opening all the soaps. I used the try me ones and I smelled those. And yes, I had a mask on. So um, this one is is a good one. Cozy vanilla almond. Okay. This one is really, really good. I might have to get more of these. I didn't realize, because, you know, you are you get intrigued by the, the new new, I just suzz on myself. You get intrigued by the new new scents. And so when you see, I'm like petting my soap. Um, when you see this type of packaging, it looks so plain Jane. So, you know, just, just generic like, you kind of pass it up. But this smells really, really, really good. It is the vanilla and almond together, and it has like a gourmand scent. Oh, that is delicious. That is delicious, delicious. I have to get more of this. This, this is, I, I would say this is right up there with the, the fresh flower picking if you like floral, but if you like gourmand, oh my God, cozy vanilla almond. Then I got these two that I'm not particularly nuts about, but I got it for the packaging. Um, so this is, this is love you cherry much. You gotta love the puns. Love you cherry much, cherry frost. Now I'm gonna smell this again. Um, the first time I smelled it in the store, it smelled like black cherry Merlot. It didn't smell like that cherry float, um, not candle, soap with the starfish with the ice cream cones. It didn't smell like that. I was hoping it was going to smell like cherry cola, cherry frost. Oh, what's the notes in this? Vanilla orchid, sugared almond, and sweet musk. You know what? Yeah. It does give me black cherry Merlot vibes. It really does. But it does kind of have a cherry Coke kind of smell to it. So maybe not a repackage of black cherry Merlot, which is one of my least favorite scents from them. So one of the love you cherry much. It's like the it, well, it does have a soda on it. It looks like a, a soda, and then it's like a winking cherry. Um, this is red cherry, fresh citrus, and frosted berries. And then this one, I just, I really like the packaging. This is Once Upon a Lime. And this is Lemon Lime Fizz. Now, before I forget to read the notes, Sweet Lime, Lemon Zest, and Sugar Cane. It smells like 7-Up. Exactly like 7-Up. The soda. If you, I don't know if you guys have that in other parts of the, the world. I know we have it here in the United States. But it smells like the soda 7-Up. Or even like Mountain Dew. No, it doesn't smell like 7-Up. It smells like Mountain Dew. That's what it smells like. It smells like Mountain Dew. Getting my beverages confused as I'm filming this. While I'm tired. Anyway. So let me take out this. Please. I, you know what? No, I'm not even. Gonna, I'm going to try to make as little noise as possible. So the five candles are in a crate. In this tote bag. And that's what's making the crinkling noise. So. I had a hard time. I smelled all the candles. I smelled all of them. How did I smell them? Through my mask and I just picked up the lid and I just smelled the lid through the mask. I smelled all the candles. I smelled all the candles and I had such a hard time making a decision. I really wanted to pick up the Unity candle. They didn't have it. Um, it didn't matter what it smelled like. I just wanted to have it, just to have it, you know, as a collector's item. But 
I, I really had a hard time picking out uh, fragrances, except, except um, this one, um, which was one that I had been wanting. This is the Springtime in Paris, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have the Pink Prosecco Frosting, which is the other one that has this lid, and it's good. I, I could have gotten another one, but I was like, hmm. So this is one that I knew that I wanted. And this is Soft Peach, which I don't smell at all. Lotus Blossom and Fresh Bergamot. That does not smell like that at all. I don't smell peach. It smells all like Lotus, Lotus Blossom. It's like a fresh floral. It's a fresh floral, so springtime in Paris. Then the other one that I wanted, even though, let me see, which one is it? The other one that I wanted to try, because I don't, is this it? Yeah, I usually don't get these type of scents, so I wanted to give this one a try. This, and it's really pretty. This is the Positively Sweet, and this is Dark Chocolate Truffles. The more I smell it, the more I like it, and the more I want to pick up another one. It does smell like dark chocolate. Originally, when I first smelled it, I thought it was too overwhelming, too chocolatey, you know? But now that I smell it again, it has the dark chocolate, but you also get like a creamy note to it and a a sugar note to it. This is rich chocolate gooey butterscotch. That's what it is. Rich chocolate gooey butterscotch and candied cherry. That smells so good. Now I know what I have to get. Now when I go back to get teak wood, which is one that I, I didn't, uh, when I'm going to get that in the, the body cream, I'm going to see how I got to do that. Um, if I use my 20% off coupon or maybe they'll do a, they did a 595 mist sale. Maybe they'll do a 595 body cream sale. Oh, this is so, so, so good. I definitely want another one. I definitely want another one. So Let's see, what is what are the other ones here? There are two that I want to save to do together. I can't get these out of the damn free. Is this? Okay. This is another one that I would not have thought that I would have liked. But this ended up uh, really being something that I, I very much enjoyed the scent of. The uh, Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. Now, I normally don't like cinnamon scents. Um, Tis the season, cinnamon and clove buds, just too much. They smells like red hot cinnamon, like the red hot candy. I can't take that heavy cinnamon smell. So I wasn't even going to smell this. But as I was going through the store, I was smelling everything because I... I really wanted to see what was there and I was decompressing after work and I wanted to make good choices, good choices. So this is really good because you know what the, it's not a red hot cinnamon. It's more of like, a like the, like a cinnamon sugar that they put on like a pretzel or something like a cinnamon sugar. And then it's mixed with, the vanilla, spiced vanilla, cinnamon spiced vanilla. So like a cinnamon sugar and then vanilla. I do like this one a lot. I am looking forward to burning this. This is fresh ground cinnamon. See, I didn't even read the notes and I knew. Fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, Tahitian vanilla bean. Really good. Now the next two, the next two surprised me, especially this one. Now they had two versions of this. They had it in 
They're two packagings. It's in two different collections. So I will tell you why I picked this one um, and this packaging. So super surprised, was not even going to pick it up and smell it. But like I said, you know what? This is a good learning um, experience because I pass up a lot of candles that I just think I'm not going to like it because of the name of what it is or the packaging. You really, if you have the time and you want to, you know, kind of decompress, go and smell all the candles and, and fragrances that you think that you wouldn't like because you'll be surprised. This one, uh, Palo Santo. I like this. I picked it up and I immediately liked it because it smells like, now a lot of people say this about fragrances in general, that it smells like a sexy man, but this smells like a sexy man from the eighties. It's a different, I want to know what the cologne was that was popular in the eighties that all the cool guys wore because this smells like sexy man from the eighties, but it's a little on the light side. So it's cologne but it's on the light side. Okay, so the notes on this, it's got to have, I'm guessing it's going to have some kind of bergamot in it or pepper or, or some such. Let's see. Palo Santo wood, warm amber soft musk. So I was completely off. Okay, so that's why I got this one, Palo Santo. And then... This is a candle that a lot of people have been raving about. And I was like, mmm, grumble, grumble. And then I smelled it again. This is the dark amber and oud. And I smell this. And it smells like Palo Santo, but much, much, much stronger. And with a little... A little bit of a soap smell it's cologne with a teeny bit of soap so it, it's kind of similar to the palo santo but stronger and with a soap note so i couldn't decide which one i liked better both of them were giving me sexy man from the 80s vibes i was concerned and and that's the reason why because this one i think is more authentic to that the palo santo is more authentic to it but the light said the it smells so light on cold. I was concerned about, uh, you know, if it would fill a room. So that's why I got the dark amber and oud because it's similar but stronger. And the reason that I got, okay, so the Palo Santo comes in another packaging, a white barn packaging that is uh, black. Complete, it's, it's all like a, a black or a charcoal co color and then it has, just has the label in the middle with the name the very simple design and I had that in my hand and that's what I was going to get but then I picked up the dark amber and oud and then I was like no nah, I don't want to charcoal even though this looks like um charcoal it kind of looks like a cross between charcoal and navy so I didn't want two charcoal colored candles so I figured let me get the this looks like, you know, a seashore or the beach or whatever in the Palo Santo and then just get the dark amber and oud, which only so far is in this packaging. So the dark amber and oud is dark golden amber, fresh rainwater, oud wood. So the Palo Santo is got Palo Santo wood and this has got oud wood insert bad dirty jokes here so they both have wood uh but this is oud wood and this is palo santo wood and then they both have amber this has got dark golden amber and this has got warm amber and then this has got the fresh rain water which is probably that soap scent that i'm picking up while this one has soft musk so they're very similar. So what have we learned? What have we learned from this haul? I put this back in the crate here. 
she was going to wrap all the candles, but then I was like, no, just put them in a crate. Why do you need to, you know, wrap and roll and all that? So I definitely, I want to go back and get teak wood. Like I said, I definitely want at least one more of the cozy vanilla almond. It is delicious. I want another one of the positively sweet. And depending how they burn, I want, I think, no, I'm not even going to say depending how they they burn. I'm imagining that I'm going to want another, my nose is all stuffy. I'm imagining that I'm going to want another Palo Santo. Okay. So that is it for this haul. Uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense, and I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.